Perhaps the single most important player on Keenan's resilient Flyers was the team's young goalie. Pelly Lindbergh really carried the Flyers hockey team. He played a lot like Bernie Perrant. He wasn't a huge goaltender, but he had great reflexes and was able to cut the angle down very, very well. Lindbergh led the Flyers into the playoffs where they defeated the New York Rangers and the New York Islanders in the first two rounds. In the conference championship, the Flyers took a three games to two lead on the Quebec Nordiques and looked to put the series on ice. But in game six, they found themselves down two men and struggling to hold the lead. To the left side to Marois, back to Stasny. Short hand and breakaway by Dave Cullen. He's going right on in. Shoot, score! Well, I think that killed Quebec right then and there, and we ended up winning the series, but that's a, that's a goal that I think every fan will remember for a long time. The Flyers would finally meet their match in the finals as they faced off against Wayne Gretzky and the defending Stanley Cup champion Edmonton Oilers. Several of Philadelphia's key players were injured. And though they managed to win the first game, the Oilers stormed back, taking four straight and seizing their second Stanley Cup championship. Gretzky has got it up high. We, not healthy, just couldn't play with them. That, that was just the bottom line to the whole thing. They were just too good. Although the season ended in disappointment, the team had recaptured the Flyer spirit. And Pelly Lindbergh was awarded the Vezina Trophy as the league's best goalie. In a touching ceremony, the award was presented by Lindbergh's mentor, Flyer great, Bernie Perrant. First of all, I want to thank uh, my teammates. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. But. Uh, the man I really want to thank tonight is uh, the guy standing to the left of me, Bernie Perrault. He told me everything I know about to play about hockey in America. Thank you, Bernie. I had the pleasure to work with him for a couple of years and uh, became like a, a son to me. And I really care. He was a good person, a great goalie, but he's a good person. I, I loved him. Pelly was uh, a person that just loved life. A real fun-loving guy that everybody liked. He was like this big kid, and he had every toy you could ever imagine. That's why I love Pelly. It was all a big game. It was fun. It was just a blast. I, I, I never met a player who just had such a good time. With Lindbergh in net, Philadelphia's hopes could not have been higher as they entered the 1986 season. Mike Keenan had everything in place for another run at the Cup, and the team wasted little time rushing out to a 12-2-0 record. After Keenan's first year, the team goes to finals. Everything's like bright future for the Flyers, and then this is the red Porsche Lindbergh was driving. The condition of the car tells the tragic story. Driving home in the early morning of November 10th, Pelly Lindbergh crashed his sports car and was killed. His death stunned and saddened the hockey community and devastated the Flyers family. Uh, looking over there this morning and seeing the empty stall was probably the, one of the toughest things uh, that I've had to do in hockey, and I know that this morning was the toughest practice I've ever gone to. Outside the spectrum, American and Swedish flags hung at half-mast. That was a big blow to our organization. Personally, we really were very fond of Pelly, and he was a phenomenal, phenomenal young goalie. The Flyers honored their fallen teammate, then tried valiantly to play on. But the reality of Lindbergh's death took a heavy emotional toll. I think it was about six days after his death, I think we had a game against Edmonton. We were playing at home, and uh, I remember I scored a goal in the first period, and I came to the bench and I almost cried. For a lot of these guys, it was their first kind of situation with death. And, I, and I'm including grandparents. These are young kids. And, and Keenan tried to kind of gather the troops and kind of pull them through this, and he did as good a job as he can. But this was a brother just taken away from them. And though they, you know, they played through, if you will, it wasn't the same. That whole year was the year Pally Lindbergh was killed. 